folks, we're going to do Hey Porsche by Nelly today. We're going to be doing four chords. Uh, we're going to be doing some strumming. We're going to be doing some picking. It's quite an easy little tune. I'm going to throw in a little bar chord there just to give you a little bit of a challenge. So let's get started with it. Right folks, we have four chords from the song. The four chords are going to be repeated um, throughout the whole tune, but we're going to do a mixture of picking and a mixture of strumming um, to bring out the sound of the song. So our song is in standard tuning. Um, just normal tuning here, no capo needed. And we're going to be using D, A, E and F sharp minor to make the sound of the song. So first of all, we're going to put the tab up on the screen here so that we can work through the picking pattern. Okay, so first of all, let's go through our chord shapes that we'll need. Um, first of all, we'll need the D, which is going to be the index finger and the third finger. We're going to use the index finger on the second fret of the third string and the third finger on the third fret of the second string. That's going to give us what most people know as a sort of D sus2, but we're not going to be focusing on this high E string at all. Okay, this first string, we're going to be trying to mute that out as we strum and also when we're picking as well. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick through these four notes as you can see on the tap. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play four, three, and two string wise. Four, three, two, and then go back to four again. Okay, so that's four, three, two, four. There's your first chord done. Then we're going to change quickly to an A chord, which is three fingers in a row. I'm using index, middle, and third finger on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second string. And we're going to pick from string number five here. Okay, so we're going to go five, three, two, five. Okay, so that's our next picking pattern is five, three, two, five. Put that together with the D, 4, 3, 2, 4, then A, 5, 3, 2, 5. Then we're going to change on to the E chord, okay? So the E chord is 1st fret on the 3rd string with the 1st finger here, or index finger. Then we're going to be putting our 3rd and middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th and the 4th string as well. Okay, so that gives a full E chord. We're going to be doing picking pattern wise here, we're going to be doing 6, 3, 2, and then 6 again. So that's starting from the low string on the guitar and moving to 3 and 2 and then back up to the low string again. We're going to use that same picking pattern for our last chord as well, which is a bar shape. So this is F sharp minor, full bar. We're going to use our index finger and press down straight over the strings at the second fret here. Okay. We're going to use our thumb behind the neck to create the pressure behind it. And we're going to use our third and pinky finger at the fourth fret of the fifth and fourth string. Okay. That will give us this sound. We're going to be doing the same picking though, so we'll be picking six, three, two, and then back to six again. Okay, now if we put all those chords in order, our D, A, E, and then sharp minor, we'll get the sound of the song. So if we pick through the notes then, let's go through from the D then, we'll go through this kind of slow. So here's our D chord, our A chord, our E chord, and our F sharp chord. Okay, if we speed that up a little bit. Okay, and if we speed up a little bit more, we get the sound of the song. That's the sound of the tune that we're looking for as we're playing it through there. So it's D, A, E, and F sharp minor. Okay? Now let's move on to our strumming pattern for this as well. Right, strumming wise through the song, we're going to be doing exactly the same chords. Um, but we can do a couple of different versions of the strumming. So the easiest way to do things is to do two strums on each chord. So if we do a D chord and do and then A, with a little faster strum there, so we're going to do D, and you can see I'm putting a little chop here with the, the outside of my palm here to get rid of the sound between chords. Okay, so that's giving us a sort of nice basic sound to work with there. D for two, A, E, F sharp. Okay, so 
we're going to add in a little bit just to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more rhythm. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm adding in a little upstroke on the D chord. So I'm doing down, down, up, then changing onto the A for two downs. So that's down, down, up on the D, cut off the sound, and change to the A for two down strokes. Do the same on the E chord, and then the same thing for the F sharp. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more, uh, a little bit more rhythm to it. Now what we'll do is we'll add in a couple of little muted notes in between, okay? So instead of doing just this, and just changing simply like that, we're going to add in a little down up in between the chords. Okay, so I'm doing this. So when I'm going down to mute, the chord here, that's going to mute the strings and allow me to do a little down up, a little sneaky little down up in between the chords. That's going to give the song, it's going to fill out the chords and give it a lot more drive, okay? So we're always going to have that sort of like... That sort of movement in between the chords which gives it like a nice solid feel. So, we'll try that again. We're going to do down, down, up. And then you go down to mute here with the right hand and do a little down up and then A for two. And then mute and down up. Then and then a mute again and then F sharp. Mute and then a down up. Okay. So that's one of the best strumming patterns you can use for this. By all means, mess about with the strumming patterns and do whatever you feel you like the sound of. You could even just keep going. Just do like four downs. You know, change up the strumming pattern however you feel. This is, this is the way that will get you closest to the sound of the song though. Okay, so hopefully that helps and that's all the parts there is to the song. Thanks for watching folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did remember to rate, comment and subscribe and until the next video, take care.